With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, there are three sets given. A is equal to 1, 2, 3. B have elements 3, 4, 5, 6 and C having elements 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, R1 is defined from A to B such that R1 is equal to ordered pairs x, y such that 4x is less than y where x belongs to A and y belongs to B. Similarly, R2 is defined from B to C. Here it was defined from A to B. B to C such that R2 is equal to x, y such that 2x is less than equal to y where x belonging to B and y belongs to C. Then we need to find the value of R1 of R2 inverse. So now first of all, writing the elements A have 1, 2, 3, B have 3, 4, 5, 6 and C have 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now R1 was defined as from A to B, 4x is less than equal to y. So let us uh, write the ordered pairs in R1. First of all, this could be x, x belongs to A, uh, this could be x, so 4x is less than equal to y, so first pair would be 1 comma, uh, if 4x is 4, so the next pair would be 5 and similarly if x is 1, uh, 4 times x is 4 and 6 would be greater than it, so 1 comma 6. Now if we take x is equal to 2, since 4x is less than y, if we take x is equal to 2, here we will we'll get 8 is less than y. So there is no y in B which is greater than A. So no other elements are possible. This much is the R1. Similarly, if we write R2, R2 was defined as 2x is less than equal to y from B to C. So for R2, 2x should, should be less than equal to y. So if we take x as 3, then the y would be 6. Uh, and 7 because 7 is also greater than 6 and 8 also 9 similarly if we take x is equal to 4 then uh, 2x would be 8 so the pair would be 4 comma 8 and 4 comma 9 now if we take x is equal to 5 then 2x would become 10 so there is no y in c which is greater than 10 or equal to 10 so these are the these are the elements of R2. Now let us try to write R2 inverse. That would be equal to inverse of all the elements. So 3, 6 will become 6, 3. This would become 7, 3. This will become 8, 3. This is 8, 4. This is 9, 3 and 9, 4. This is R2. Now we know both R1 and R2 inverse. Now we need to find R1 of R2 inverse. This is we need to find. So first of all, let us take a particular value. Let us take um, R2 inverse uh, as a function of 6 because the minimum element is 6. So if we calculate R1 of R2 inverse of 6, that would be equal to R1 of R2 inverse of 6 is 3. R1 of 3. But there is no input in uh, and there is no input like 3 in R1. R1 has only one input that is 1 itself. So this is not possible. Similarly, if we take a close look on each and every output of R2 inverse, it is no one is matching with the R1 input. Hence, there is not, no element, there are no elements possible for R1, R2, R1 of R2 inverse. So that is equal to 5. So the correct option is option D. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.